Hi everybody again at Generic Fun 95 and tonight I'm, we're going to be discussing VHS tape quality. Well, do you think it's too low to view? Honestly, I don't think so. People managed to watch it back then, right? So, well, it depends on the tape speeds. I know we've already went over them before. Like, you know, standard play, you get the best quality. LP, slightly lower quality. SLP or EP, even lower quality, but I think EP might be higher, but which I think that's why EP is commonly used on videotapes for video speeds. Even at the lowest tape speed, it's still viewable. I know there's some grainy effects and colors bleed and a little static here and there and a few lines but really it's really up to you it's really kinda of medium quality from my perspective like if you take 4k for example it's specifically 60 frames per second everything's moving around like this real 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 fast cuz it, it looks brand new and so high quality and cool well uh, rather than well, on VHS tapes, it kind of looks like that sometimes. Like, I have some videotapes of my sister and I as babies, and they're actually pretty high quality, like 1080p for the time. So really, it kind of depends on the make and the company and the tape speed. I guess if you want... So if you want your tape to be the highest quality, I recommend a JVC tape on SP mode. That's the highest quality you'll get, maybe up to 1080p. So you can upscale your videotape quality with modern videos, and it'll work, but it'll have the same lifespan as a videotape. It'll only last 10 to 25 years. I did research. That's how long, that's how much a shelf life of a tape is. Well, I've, although I've seen another guy say that a videotape has lasted even longer than that, up to 33 years. Which they do break over time, so if you have tapes that are starting to degrade, notice if you notice some degrading, mild degrading tapes, then convert them right now before it's too late. Well, I watched this guy on YouTube who had a... VHS DVD combo recorder and I fell in love with that unit that I actually bought two of them well really yeah I bought two of them one was used and one was refurbished at first I thought the used one didn't work so well but so I thought I'd get a refurbished one to try it out and it does work noticeably works better it looks like it works better but Later on, I found out that they both work the same. It's just that it just acts a little weird on static at the beginning for a brief moment. And other than that, it's fine. So now I have two of them, and that's how I ended up getting two of them. <laughs> and I'm planning on keeping them. Well, at least, I mean, my used one is over there by my TV. And the refurbished one I'm using as a spare that's in my closet. The, you know what it is? It's... I have two copies of the Magnavox ZV four two seven MG nine. It was a bit pricey, but it was really all around four hundred and eighty five dollars with the used and refurbished one. Well, a brand new one costs up to eight hundred dollars or more. That's why I got a refurbished one. It's both new and used, is what I call it, and it's really awesome to me. Some of you probably know there are better combo recorders out there, but I'm sticking with this one. So basically, I got all these tapes just to really have fun with them. Record on them, transfer them, and make them into shelves. Make other things out of the cases. Basically, that's why I have all, I'm doing, I'm into VHS right now, just to have fun with it. Of course, DVDs have fun with them too, and you can still use them today. They still release DVDs today on certain movies, only, although that Blu-ray and 4K are kind of making them obsolete. If I have to, one day I'll transfer to Blu-ray or 4K, which will take a god-awful long time. 
But hey, to reach his own, right? So anyway, the VHS tape quality... Well, it depends on your eyesight, too. I could see him just fine, because without my glasses, I have slightly blurry vision. And that my eyes are brown, as you can see in the video. But if I wear glasses, even the videotape quality still looks fine when I wear my glasses. And I don't really mind it, because I grew up with that quality. And a lot of you probably like it, too, even though most of you probably think that it's stupid and old school. But, but the rest of you who don't seem to care, it's still great quality to watch in. So... The question is, is VHS tape quality bad? Well, it's really up to you and your eyesight and your perspective and the time you grew up in. That's my answer. You can say yes or no, maybe. It's really up to you, not me. But for me, I think it's pretty good quality. Unless it goes bad. Well, anyway, there you have it. There's your answer. It depends. So the final... Yeah, the question, is VHS tape quality bad? It's a, the answer is, it depends. Alright, and thank you guys for, thank, and thank you for gathering around tonight if you're interested, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye now.